Why, hello there. I'm Sandy Alnock. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I am going to be showing you how I made my new kicks. My dogs are enjoying going for a walk with mom that has cool shoes on now. So let's talk about how I did that and how you can try it too. My high tops have a special story to them and I didn't want to dive in practicing right away on those. So I bought a couple other pairs of shoes and I decided to practice on those and get an idea of what is going to happen when I take an alcohol marker to a piece of canvas on a shoe. And this one I did sunflowers on it and then a different panel on the inside. The markers are very, very soft on fabric. And I knew that was going to happen. I just wanted to see how much. And it's very, very soft. You can get some really interesting blends, but it also is going to require, if you want some detail on it, you're going to have to use a Sharpie to get that kind of detail because it's really difficult to get anything sharp. All the colors also lighten. They don't go on as rich as you might be used to on paper. So you'll have to use darker colors probably to get things to show up the way you want. And I just layered my sunflowers on top of each other. So doing the marker work for two of them and then letting the pen work carry the, the under over for the petals so you can see which one's on top. I did try a little bit of color on top of the Sharpie and it did kind of move the Sharpie a little bit. It got a little mushy, so I recommend doing the marker work first. For the interior portion, I was debating whether to do a different color with the sunflowers, different kind of flowers, smaller flowers or whatever, decided to just make them black and then add polka dots to them with some white acrylic. You don't want to use anything water-based that might end up in trouble in a puddle when you're talking about shoes. So they came out kind of cute with those two different panels on them. And then I tried on another pair doing a galaxy type of design because this I thought I could get a lot of really soft blending with that and it worked fantastically. Again, the colors are light, so these are almost like rainbow candy colored <laughs> types of galaxies. They're not really rich and dark like a sky might be, but you get the idea across. And a friend of mine who was texting while I was working on this, she fell in love with these, and she happens to be the right shoe size, so I'm gonna give them to her. She does these, um, like Lindy Hop lessons she just started and she's so excited. She always dresses up really cute for them and I can't wait to see her pictures wearing these going to her Lindy Hop lessons. I think that would be adorable for something like that and they're a size too small for me anyway so it works out perfect to have somebody else who wants to wear them. Now when you're coloring these I was trying for the most part to have solid color everywhere except for on something like this. I wanted to have a white galaxy on one side of each of the shoes. And I did that by just not coloring all the way into that area, but really light colors right around that white galaxy and then darker as you get outward on the outside of the shoe. And once you get all that color on, which does suck a lot of color out of your markers. So if you're stingy with your inks. You might not want to do these because yeah, they take a lot of ink to fill all that color in, but it was really fun to do anyway. And then here's the acrylic with a very tiny brush to put stars on it. I couldn't get this acrylic paint to flick with a toothbrush. I was wishing I could because it would have been kind of nicer stars probably, but then I did paint some actual stars on there using a dry brush to kind of move that color around in the shape of a cross. I think they came out really adorable. So, so, so cute. So that brings us now to the PF Flyers. I got these at Old School Shoes in Santa Cruz last year. Yes, a year ago. And I was so scared to mess this one up. I just didn't do anything with them. I had them sitting here in the studio staring at me in their box for so long and finally decided to get to it. I had gone in there and asked if they had any orphan shoes, just on the weird off chance. I'm not even sure why that occurred to me. But I thought, you know, if they have a shoe that doesn't have a mate, I just wanted to see what it was like to draw on a shoe. And a high top would be extra great because it has extra surface. So I asked, you know, can't hurt to ask, right? And the girl looked at me like I was crazy and explained to her I wanted to draw on them. 
And she ended up calling her boss and she called me back later and said, yeah, you can come pick them up. Um, these are not orphan shoes, but they were a pair of shoes that were just sitting on the shelf. They had some water damage on the canvas fabric. So all I had to do was wash them. The design inspiration for these is actually a piece that I did last year, I guess it was. It was in a fundraiser that I did. I had an auction raising money for Ukraine and that piece sold. And I have just been so sad that I don't have it because it's one of my favorite things I've ever done. I actually had a big print of it made for my wall in my bedroom so I could still kind of have it, but it's not the same as the original. But here I did the same sort of thing. I just put down a wash of alcohol marker colors instead of watercolors and then just doodled over them and used the same kind of lines and same kinds of shapes, including all the way up the tongue of the shoe because you can actually see some of that through the laces. And now when I wear these, I feel so young and hip and cool. I never have had high tops in my whole life and now I do. And I'm pretty excited, so we're going to go for a walk. And we'll see you guys later. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button. If you decide you're going to draw on some shoes yourself, send it to me. I want to see what you did. And I will chat with you guys later on. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.